welcome to another how to video with Matt today I'm going to show you how to make the iron pipe toilet paper holder guys this looks really cool especially in the new mills that they're turning into apartments now so this would look great inside of your apartment if you live in one of those or if you just love that industrial look altogether stick around I'm going to show you how to make it alright guys so to get started you're going to need to pick yourself a half inch flange mount right here it looks just like this you can pick these up at your big box stores right there guys around three to four dollars each for right there but that's what you're going to use to mount to the wall and your pipes thread into here just like that right there so pick you up one of those then you're going to need to get yourself one half inch 90 you're going to need to get two half inch caps just like these kind are right there and then you're going to need to get yourself a six inch threaded nipple on both ends you need to get yourself a three to four inch this right here is three and a half but you can use three to four inches and then you need to get yourself what's called two half inch close nipples these are the sh shortest nipples that they can make at half inch right there guys so get you two of those then you're going to need to get yourself a half inch t okay so for your board part you're going to need to cut a board that's about nine and a half inches long right go ahead and show you out there in case you can't hear too good or something like that so nine and a half inches long for the board and then on one corner you're going to take a one inch drill bit and drill you a hole so i went about two and a quarter by one and a half so about two and a quarter by one and a half is your center mark drill you a one inch hole and before we get started guys i highly recommend to get you a pair of channel locks wrenches just like this right here guys that way you can help tighten your pipes together so let's go ahead and get started now okay so the first thing i want to do is take my t just like this right here and i want to take my two close nipples i want to go ahead and put one in the top of it right here just like that let's go ahead and hand tighten that right now and then put you one on the bottom just like that and just hand tighten it for just this second all right so once you got that then you can take your channel locks hold your fitting in place and go ahead and tighten them down as much as you possibly can that'll give it a sharper look when you get done guys so that's pretty tight and cinched in place so now we'll do the same thing for this part right here we'll cinch that in place all right, so the next thing I want to do now is take my 90 and on the bottom of the T, we're going to go ahead and thread that onto there just like that. Hand tight. Okay, so the T part right here, the bullhead end, is going to be facing the wall that way, right? So you want to make sure your 90 is tight going to the right just like that, guys. So you can just hold on to your nipple right there. Get you a good cinch. And just crank that thing around till you get it nice and tight. You don't want to go too much because then you'll have to back it out and it won't be as tight. So I just want to get this around one more time. Alright, so once you get it to the right facing that way, then we'll be ready to move to the next step. Alright, so we got everything lined up the way we need to have it. Like I said, T facing towards the wall 90 facing directly right angle that way so what we want to do now is take our six inch piece our six inch nipple and go ahead and put a cap on one end just like that all right then we're going to go ahead and thread that six inch into our 90 right here guys all right and then you just want to tighten that up much as you can inward that way once you tighten that up you can also just grab it right here by the cap and turn the entire thing at one time so just go ahead and tighten up that six inch nipple and then tighten up that cap on the end as tight as you can get it all right so now we want to take our last nipple this is our three inch nipple right here and you can use four inch too and the middle of our T right here we're just going to go ahead and thread that in hand tight just like that then we will take our wall mount right thread that into the other end down here all right and then you just want to get that as tight as possible guys 
Alright guys, so if you followed along correctly, this is what you should have looking like right now is you got your 6 inch nipple with a cap, you got your 90 closed nipple, you got your T facing upward, and you got another closed nipple on the top, you got your 3 to 4 inch nipple coming out of the T with a wall mount. So the last thing we need to do is to mount your board of course, right? But before you do all that, a lot of people like that real shiny black look, some people like that flat black look, and believe it or not, some people like this galvanized look right here I don't really personally like the galvanized look I like that shiny black brand new pipe kind of look so what we're gonna do is instead of painting this I'm just gonna tell you what you need to do is go ahead and just spray paint it the color that you want it to be I recommend like a high glossy black color also what you're gonna need to do after you paint that is decide do you want to stain your board a certain color do you want to sand it down real smooth and make it like a different type of paint or whatever that's all up to you when you customize it so what you're going to need to do after your paint dries on your pipe and your stain or paint dries on your board now is the front end you want your better looking side to be facing upward all right and this is just a little piece of scrap wood to show you guys out there so then what we're going to do is place it on the top just like that then we're going to take our last nipple right here and we're just going to tighten that thing down and hopefully it'll clinch this board right here into place so we'll go ahead and start tightening that up now and like i said it should center our board exactly where it needs to be so let's go ahead and get that tightened up and here's a quick little tip if you're having trouble getting the pipes and fittings to tighten up to the wood you can always on the back side like right there how I use the washer just use a washer guys if you need one or two just put it on the back side just like that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get this mounted so we can see what the finished product looked like all right guys so I went ahead and painted mine the glossy black like I was talking about I used some rust-oleum black spray paint and I went ahead and mounted it to the wall so this is what it looks like after it is mounted with a roll of toilet paper on there guys hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know down in the comments if you make one of these and how it turned out for you and as always I will see you in the next video have a wonderful weekend peace